And when did you realize that that podcast of yours could grow and could be monetized after how many years? So I'm on my fifth year now. Okay. Yeah. When did you realize that? Mid around mid last year. So after okay. four, four and a half years. Yeah. And you've been doing it consistently since the beginning. Yes. How often you put a podcast or an episode live? Every two weeks. Uh, okay. I, I put an episode every two weeks. And then I used to take breaks for summer and for Christmas because mm. I traveled with my family. And, you know, I didn't want to have to commit, you know, to every two weeks and so on. And, uh, and I thought I could just stop. But then every time I stop, my numbers drop. Yeah, it's as if like you go back fifty percent, which is which yeah. is ridiculous because you stop for you know a month or like a month and a half, yeah, and then you come back and it's almost it's you're not starting from zero but but you're starting like fifty percent at fifty percent. Right. Um. So I decided I'm not stopping anymore. So I will not. I will keep publishing every two weeks. Uh. Yeah. Every every you know every two weeks of the year. Uh, and then hopefully eventually uh, publish weekly. But I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't have the infrastructure to do it. Yet. Right. Yeah. But and yeah, don't stop. I mean, that's the that's the biggest learning for me. Is the second you stop, you see it. You see it in the numbers. Yeah, the numbers drop. Right. <clears throat> in everything. Yeah. For me, the same. I took a break, probably like uh, three months of posting, and then <laughs> everything. Uh, yeah. yeah. As yeah. if, you know, just have to start from the beginning. Yeah, you need that consistency. 